What is going on guys? My name is Ramba back again from Ramba Reviews here with another episode reaction to Darwin's game. This is going to be episode 4, Fireworks. Now, the last episode was actually pretty interesting. The fact that they got all, uh, all sucked into the new Easter egg game and the fact that they're trying to find these rings. Um, we had our main character basically give up his rings to this guy with what looked like to be an RPK, mach uh, machine gun. And he was taken out in the elevator shaft by another guy whose sigil looks like to be the power to control uh, everything plant related whether it can be growing it out of thin air or just making them sprout from the ground and just grow into these crazy things we got to see that he was able to control some of the other people they, they weren't killed but they were able to he was able to control them with these plants with like a hallucination uh, type of spore that these plants were emitting. So this guy's pretty fucking powerful. But also, we got to see that he was in the control room, and I'm almost positive that it was by Koyasu. Uh, the guy who voiced him was Koyasu. Uh, I believe that's Dio. Um, I th I'm almost positive. Don't quote me on that. But that was an interesting, that was a really cool, like, little, like, I was like, wait a second, that sounds like Dio. I'm almost positive that was Dio. Um, let me know if it wasn't. But it just sounded like it, and it's going to be a treat hearing him, because I haven't heard his voice. Uh, the last time I heard his voice uh, the, from a show that I had personally seen was um, Miyuki, or Shiragane's uh, father from Kaguya-sama Love is War. And <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty great, because it's an intimidating voice. But, yeah, also, uh, yesterday I had recorded a, a Flashback Friday series that you probably it's probably up by now. Um, hopefully, if it hasn't... If, if it's on YouTube, hopefully it didn't get taken down. Um, it's currently, as of right now, it's currently uploading. I'm just waiting for it to pop up. Uh, it's just processing takes a long-ass time. Um, but I feel a little bit better. My voice is still not completely 100%. But yeah, I am ready to jump into this episode. I'm ready to see Dio kick ass um, and see how they're going to handle this. Because, like I said, this is a, it's a pretty fucking powerful sigil. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's jump in to episode 4 of Darwin's Game, titled Fireworks in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. And Eplex. And of course, Funimation's intro thingy. Oh, we get a backstory of her. Nice. Rain. Sorry, let me just turn down just slightly. So her friend sent it. What a bitch. Laplus? Laplus is demon? So that's her power? Oh shit. So she can see a little bit, she can see what's gonna happen. Oh, is she gonna see her friend? Oh, the glass was going to cut her. Okay. That's a pretty fucking strong ability if you think about it. All right, so I am going to turn off the um, audio. Always have to do it for the intro. I wonder what... Wait. Is her, um, is her endgame, like, status or name intellect or analyst or whatever it was? Because her name's Rain with an E. I wonder how many of the um, villains were introduced in that opening. That I wonder if all those little villains are going to be in this season. Because like I said, the, um, I said before that... 
Um, I assume that she... No, 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 I'm sorry. Um, the second season is... There is... There's enough material for another season because the mo the original material is still going on. <laughs> All right, opening done. Come on, let me hear you, Dio. Let me hear you, Dio. It's sorry, right, just kid. <laughs> and sorry, every time I just hear the voice. So he's got four that we know of. How'd they hide? Oh. I do wonder if, um, I like those odds. Mm, that's how I can tell. Okay. It's true. Oh shit. But that's what they want you to think. It's going to be booby trapped, isn't it? Oh. Holy shit. How many fucking grenades was that? Yeah, because now they're going to all converge on them. Flashbang. And a sun gun. Yeah, it's the same one that he had. So they did split apart.
25. He okay, so she has 25, 24 bullets. Oh, you can buy. Okay. It's different for each. <laughs> Considering I just watched, um, I just watched, um, Bunny Girl Sampa. Yes, I'm pretty well versed. Also, Laplace's demon was also used in, um, I believe, Har uh, Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Yeah, but like I said, that is a strong-ass sigil. But again, she's, she's a frail girl, so... And those things are literally mindless zombies. Well, are basically mindless zombies. So, okay, she was just in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, bullets would go through that thing. Just saying. I've shot bullets. They have enough mass to go through that. Hex. Oh, I was like, I was waiting for her to finally shoot that. Oh, you know, he's after him. He's going to go for him. Is he right outside the control room? Ah. That he was capable to do it. Determination. Oh yeah, I could. I'm guessing that also takes a drain. It drains the stamina. Mm. Let me see him. That is one weird ass outfit. It looks normal looking, but yeah. So he has a natural reason. Is he gonna turn himself? Is he gonna turn himself into a giant friggin' plant? Mm. 
Nah. I know you touched that RPK. So just, you know. It's a 7.62 round. That should easily bat blast through that. I don't know any wood that could do that. There it is. Yeah, I call bullshit on that. I'm just saying, I'm calling bullshit on that. No matter how much he destroys, he can just bring it right back. Is the scene or touch? I'm most positive it's touched. Okay, so the, I'm, I am glad that he actually has some type of drawback, too, because that would be absolutely broken as fuck. But he was aiming for that. I know it's just a it's just a really long reverberated bass sound effect, but that still makes me happy. Jesus ain't gonna save you now, boy. <laughs> I am curious on to see how this is going to end. What else has he touched? What else has he touched? Something that's effective against wood. He hasn't touched a flamethrower. It's... It seems like he has to have touched it, right? But it seemed like he touched it. So what? Uh, so it's, uh, his his pa his ability is like forge. Forging. Oh, it's him.
Flaming rounds. Incendiary. I'm you. Funny, funny, he came to terms with himself right under a cross. Is that how it works? <laughs> Interesting. I'm guessing that's the guy he's fighting for, of course. Just gonna let him go. Ah. What kind of rifle is that? It looks like an M24. It might be an M24, but there's so many variants that look similar. Eh. I'm just saying the base model looks like an M24. Why am I talking about that? That means nothing. So almost like a truce, kind of. So basically, like, we're, we're just going to hold tight and just wait for it to end. This is where the episode's going to end. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense, like, just from a strategical point of view. Fair, fair, fair. I still did not expect him to be as um, normal looking, I guess. 
Um, I'm going to go skip to the ending really quickly, uh, just to see what it is, because I have a lot of videos to knock out today. That's not what I wanted. Alright, so, yep, nothing. Alright, so, yeah, that is episode four of Darwin's Game. Very interesting. Um, I want to see, like, I, I have, okay, so I have a feeling like, yeah, they'll do this improvised clan thing where they're like, alright, we're going to hold the line. Um, but I want to see how many people attack attack them, and if we're going to be getting um, the, the other guy, um, Mr. Blonde Haired Guy over here. Uh, but yeah, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction of Darwin's Game. I will be reacting to Science Says I Fall in Love, uh, Science Fall in Love, so we tried to prove it right after this. I'm going to upload this first and then go from there. Uh, but yeah, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction of Darwin's Game, episode 4. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.